Hello, this is Mr. Rudwick. This is the video for how to install Java, JGrasp, and jCarroll. I'm going to go through each of those steps. They are all pretty reasonable, but this is something that, just in case you need a reference. The first step is to download the JDK. If you just Google JDK, it'll pop up right here. It's the first result. And you'll hit this download button right here for Java JDK version 10. Bear in mind there may be a newer version by the time you're watching this video, but whatever is there, just use that. Just use the newest version. Um, in order to do this, you hit accept license agreement and then find whichever one is associated with your operating system. So for me, that would be Mac. For you, that'll probably be Mac or Windows. Maybe you're a Linux user. While that's downloading, I'm going to also download JGrasp, which is an editor. Um, it's an editor developed at Auburn University, and it's basically a nice, simple um, editor that you can really just get started without too much setup. Um, and the other nice thing about it is there's a really, really good debugger. So in order to install that, again, same idea. You just Google JGrasp, and this will be at the, this first website here. And on the left over here, you'll go to the Downloads page. And scroll down, find whichever one is for you. For me, it's Mac. Again, I'm going to download that. And then the third thing here is J. Carroll. And that is something that I have shared with you. It's at tinyurl.com slash sasapcs. And it's not, uh, not case sensitive, so whatever you type in there will work. And this will take you to a Dropbox page, and um, there's a couple different ways to do this, but what I'm going to recommend is you actually go into the More Options over here, and you go to Download. So this will actually just download this full zip file. So at this point, we've downloaded all three of these things. What you're going to do, and I'm going to skip these steps, but you're going to click on this guy and actually install your JDK. Uh, so the Java Developer Kit basically allows you to actually create Java code. So you'll go through this workflow, you know how to install programs at this point, so I'm not going to do that for you. Same idea with JGrasp. Again, you'll open that, you'll go through all of these steps. I'm not going to do that, but just use the defaults. And then finally is the um, last couple parts here. I'm going to go back to my little installation guide. So we've done these two. Those guys are good. We've downloaded this. We're going to unzip the file, put it in the correct folder, and then set up our jar. So in order to find this guy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use show in, folder, in finder so that we can actually find it. Um, for Macs, this will just be a double click. For Windows, you're going to actually right click, and there will be an extract button, which you actually do need to do. Um, but I have a Mac, so I'm just going to double click this guy, and that will just automatically unzip. So this is this folder right here. Um, a zip file is basically, they take something and you can press it so that you can actually send, take all these folders and turn them into one file. That's what a zip file is. Anyways, um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this units folder, you're going to copy it, command C or copy, whatever, whatever you do. Um, and we're going to go into your, I'm putting things in my documents folder. I think you should do something similarly logical. So make some place you need to have somewhere where your stuff actually lives All right and so i'm just going to make my own apcs folder here so you should probably do the same thing and what we're going to do is we're just going to paste that in here units um, so now we have this units folder um, and we're going to open that guy up and here's kind of all of our little things that we're going to be working with now, I'm actually show you a little trick here. Some of you may or may not know about this, but if you go up one level to this units folder, you can actually right click on here. And if you hold the, the option button on your keyboard, you can see there's some extra options here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this copy units by path name right here. So what that's going to do is that's actually going to um, generate uh, a string um, with all the actual file paths. So I'm just going to copy that guy. Um, and then I'm going to open up JGrasp um, using my Spotlight. Um, so one way is this button up in the top right up here. Um, some folks don't know about that. Um, or alternatively, if you use 
uh, command space, it'll just pop up. And this will search your whole computer for anything. Um, and so I'm going to be searching for JGRASP. Um, it does take a little minute to fire up. Typically, it's this little load screen. That'll go away, and then JGRASP will actually fire up. Um, so at this point, this will probably be some other location. Um, and what you're going to do is you're just going to go right up here, and you're just going to paste what you copied. Right? Remember, we did copy file path. And so what that's going to do, if you do that and you hit Enter, it'll actually just jump to the right folder that you want to go in. Um, another way to do that, you'll probably it'll probably start in maybe this folder here, some sort of home directory on your computer. So you could actually go through and navigate and find where all your stuff is. But again, I like just copying the file path. That way it's a bit easier. Um, now, at this point, we have one more step to do, which is to actually set up the jar file. And so in the settings up here at the top, you're going to go to path, class path, and then workspace. Um, and you'll be tempted to hit the new button right here, but don't do that. First thing you need to do is actually hit this class paths button up here. You'll note that I have a bunch set up. You will not have any. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to hit the new button over here. And what this is going to, what we're doing right now is basically we're, we're adding a new package to Java. So jcarol um, is what we'll be working with in our first unit. And that is not something that's built into Java. That's something that was developed um, by one of uh, my former coworkers. Um, and so we're basically going to be going to be adding that to Java. And so um, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Browse right here. And if we did do that former step where we directed here, then it's going to default to where we are right now. So what we'll do is we'll just go into Setup Files, and we'll add this carol2 underscore c dot jar. And we'll hit OK. And I think, I'm actually not sure if we need to do this. Some students have had success without actually including this Xerxes, but I'm going to do that anyways. So I'm including both these files, carol2 underscore c, which I already did, as well as Xerxes. So you hit this Choose button here, and then you just hit OK. And you can see you should have these two new ones that just got added to your list. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to hit Apply and hit OK. And boom, boom, that includes our video. Thank you.